The kitchen is, I would say, 95% of the way there. I've got a few things like the mirror splashbacks that I'm doing, so I've got a template them, send them off and get them back. Now, I'm just about with Gary, my really, really, really amazing friend, and he's a super plumber, and Gary's done everything here with me, does all my stuff with me, and we're just about to fit the taps. Now, just like everything on this build, I searched and searched and searched for a product which was gonna suit my needs. Now, okay, a tap is a tap, but is it? So, one thing I wanted to do away with was one of these. They're energy hungry, you know, they're, they're awkward, they sit on the side, they're sort of something that I just wanted to eliminate. And there are a lot of hot water taps on the market. And the brand I decided to go with in the end was the Kruka, and there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, they're market leaders, they've got a fantastic backup and service plans and all the rest of it, and they're there for you if you need them. Secondly, it is 100 degrees, so when you pour it from the tap, it is boiling water. A lot of taps that say they're a you know, hot water tap, they're at 98, and that was quite important to me. I mean, if I'm making tea, I want it to be hot water, and also preparing vegetables, you can bang that in straight on the hob, saves a bit of energy there as well. And I was nervous about how much energy it would use, and I researched that, and actually, when I work out, if I boil the kettle between five and 10 times a day, maybe, you know, you boil it, forget, come back, boil it again. That uses more energy than this storing the water ready for use in a whole day. So it's very economical. So, but that's not my only reason anyway. So we're gonna get it out of the box. We're gonna have a look at it. Now we've got a pair of boiler fix valves. So we've got a hot and a cold, which was done at first fix stage. Gary straight away said to me, let's get it open. We may need to take another cold supply, which means turning the water off, teeing it off before the baller fix that we've got for our taps or if we've got the space doing it afterwards and so we're going to do that so we're going to get it all out of the box i'll just show you the tap that we went for so we wanted something which was we didn't want chrome and we didn't want like gold so unique to kruka it is a patinated brass and i think it's absolutely beautiful and with the mirror that we're going to choose i'm not sure how this is going to work on camera but with the mirror that we're going to choose it's just going to look absolutely gorgeous it's um it's an antique mirror and it's also got this beautiful patina in it as well um and so i think they're just going to work really really well together and we've gone for a quartz which looks a little bit like carrera marble it's quite in on trend at the moment reason why we didn't use carrera marble is you spill a bit of wine or a bit of oil on it and if you haven't cleaned it and got it out or it's not sealed properly you've had it so that's why we didn't do that and it's particularly soft you know if you've got a section here across the sink you know it's got to be reinforced underneath because it could crack so that's where we're going with that so we're going to get on with it we're going to see what we come up against capture a bit of footage get the thing fitted and then we can make a cup of tea without that kettle all right gary yeah no let's get on with it yeah yep be interested to see what's in the box oh that's the tank is it yeah why it's a big old thing yeah, we've got enough room. Look at the size of this thing. It looks like um, something developed by a spaceship company. A couple of boxes. That sounds good. This is the piece of magic here. Look at that. That's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. So that looks like it's everything, all things to all men. You've, it looks like you've got a um, pressure reducing valve. Pressure relief valve. Yeah. Pressure relief. Mm. Is that Tundish on there? <laughs> it's got non-return. Right, okay. So Fitness water supply, pressure reduced. Drill the waste for the pressure relief. The, the original hot goes straight to the tap. Yeah. Uh, as, as normal. Tea the cold. The tea the cold, and then it goes into this, what does you call this? Pressure. This is a built in non return valve, pressure reducing valve. So I'll feed it all in, yeah? Yeah. First of all, is a little black cable, then there's the hot pipe. Yeah. Then I've got the first, first of the tails in, second of the tails in, and that went in a treat. All right, I'm just going to ease it in. Just a little cable tie there. There we go. Okay, Gary, that's in. Tighten it up? Yeah, not half. Hold it, hold it there for a sec. I'm telling you now, mate, that is so, so tight, they've got a beautiful fit. Well, that is the business. 
bang on my center line. You'd expect that, wouldn't you? Look at that, bang on. The worst thing is, is when you're trying to find a fitting for something and it's kind of like, is it two inch internally? Is it two inch externally? Turn that on super slow. And the, the object is, is let's say, imagine we're underneath there. We're just gonna start that off nice and slow. And we'll drill it. Oh, that is the business. That is the business. Yeah, I reckon that is the business. So if it's drilled a little hole and it's tapped a thread into it. Now this is a fairly good quality waste pipe. I always like to use one with a fairly thick wall. And I think this is a benefit of that. Then what we have, I won't actually tighten it in here in case it doesn't want to come out too easily. Now this is going to tap into here. Look at that, look. That is a lovely old fit, that is. Oh, glue it as well. Yeah. Solvent weld, perfect. I like that. Nice little fit in that. So this has got a flange on it there. Yeah, just connect that to that and make a nice U shape. And push it on the other end. Um, I'm not being daft, but where does it go? On the ground, a bit hanging down. Lovely job. I'm gonna be plugged into this. Let's just check we need a washer in there. So that's it. Gary's done a great job as usual and he's installed the Kuka tap. It's the Fusion Square and it's in this unique patinated brass, which I really like. Um, and talking about being patinated brass, it's going to change colour apparently. And I just had a chat with Becky and we've looked at the instructions of how to keep it clean and it's like everything else you've got to learn a new way of looking after things you can't just go put in flash mr muscle and all those other brands are available all over it. it's just got to be warm water and they say that it can be treated with beeswax every six months which is quite ironic anyway that was it the installation was really quite simple just a couple of modifications to the cold main so we had a hot and cold main we had boiler fixes on both we also had a feed for the dishwasher behind so what we did we took off the wash mac what we call a wash mac for the dishwasher we put a compression t on there we came away into the pressure reducing valve um, for the kuka and then we connected all those connections the tap went in just like a normal tap, but it's got this additional tail, which is where the boiling water passes back through. It's also got a cable which provides illumination there, which is an indication of whether or not it's warming up. If it's off, it's warm. Now I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how this works. So it's just like a normal mixer tap. We've got cold, pull it round, hot, and we've got mix, obviously. If I want boiling water, it's a simple two turns and there's your boiling water. The tank I chose is only three liters. Now that's because there's only three of us in the house and that will give something like 10 cups of tea in one hit and I can't drink that much unless Gary's here of course because he can certainly consume the tea. Um, so the next job is to stash this away it's best not to throw it away just in case you need to service change filters or something like that and it's out of action for a couple of days or a week so this is prudent to put this in the loft or somewhere to hand and that's it so the jobs are good and just got to get my cabinet doors back on put the back of the cabinet on and we are done thanks for joining me check back soon and if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing to skill builder have a look at my channel it's growing and i'm doing all kinds of geeky stuff not generally plumbing that's not my thing Thanks a lot.